Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Raylin. My husband and I have been on a journey to become debt free and more financially stable since November of 2023. We utilize a zero based budget to tell our money where to go instead of wondering where it went. After adapting to this lifestyle, we notice the financial aspect of our lives change for the better. I film these videos to hold ourselves accountable and hopefully inspire others along the way. If you're interested in following along, just keep watching. <music> Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be cash stuffing for the third week of August and I have a total of $475 going in, but I have $440 cash. $35 is going to be reserved in our checking account for our gas. So let's go ahead and count this cash up. Oh, must've ran out of batteries. Let me go grab my other calculator, one second. All right, this one works. Okay, so what did I say? $440? Yeah. I love this little clip. I just used it for my cash. It's so cute, and I got this from Budget with Maddie. She included it in her little freebie package when you order from her. So cute. I'll just set that right over here. All right, so let's get started. All right, we have $440 cash, which is exactly where we need it to be. All right, starting off with my wallet per usual. We have $20 left over in groceries. And you guys, I'm pretty empty for the rest of it, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, there's nothing left over. So $20 is what we have to go towards our extra debt this week. Groceries, I already did our grocery shopping for the week and I didn't spend the whole 200, so I'm gonna put 50. This is what we have remaining for the week. I'm gonna try not to spend that. Household is gonna get $20. Kids is gonna get $10. Miscellaneous is also gonna get $10 this week. All right, and that is all for my wallet. It always feels so good to have this fresh and full for the week. All right, going into my wallet overflow binder. And I'm gonna go to, we stuffed household. You guys, we completely depleted this envelope. We have spent so much money, it's honestly like, almost giving me a heart attack. So um, <laughs> we just have so much going on. August is so busy for us. We have a bunch of birthdays in our family. My husband's birthday, our anniversary, back to school. Um, we had our car registration come out and my husband and I had to get our Arizona license finally after almost two years of living here. And what else? Um, our electricity bill has been outrageous. Um, we completely ran out of all of our household items. We run out all at once because we buy in bulk and it's just the schedule we're on for those things. So yeah. And then, um, what else? I feel like some other things have happened. I can't remember at the moment, but it's been a little crazy over here and giving my husband and I like a major anxiety attack about how much money we've been spending. Um, kids. I stuffed in my wallet. Miscellaneous I stuffed in my wallet. Justin is going to get his usual $40. So we have 20, 30, 40 for Justin. 
It's his birthday today. And also, Post Malone's new album came out and I've already started listening to it. Some of the songs I already have heard because he released some early, but so far I'm liking it. Um, and that is all for this binder. Going into our high priority binder. Coffee is gonna be getting $10, which I need to place an order for coffee beans. We're almost out. So we have 20, 30, and 40 for coffee. Personal hygiene is getting 10 as well. So personal hygiene now has 50, 70, 80, 90. And my envelopes might look a little condensed. It's because I had to condense to make cash. I did not want to go to the bank today, so I just wanted to use what I had, so that's why. The weans are getting, I think $10, yes, $10. So the weans now have 50, 100, 50, 70, 180. Clothing is getting $20. Clothing now has 150, 170, 190, 210. School is getting $5. So it has 15. Electricity is getting five as well. So we have 100 set aside in our high yield, 150, 170, 190, 195. Yearly subscriptions is getting $5. So we have 20, 40, 50, 55, $60 in yearly subscriptions. Vehicle maintenance has been really depleted because our tabs were due and it was about 350. So we have $10 going in, which puts us $200 in our high yield, which sneak peek, I made these and I plan on selling these when I open my Etsy shop. So there you go. So 200 set aside in our high yield, 50, 60. So 260 total for vehicle maintenance. Health is getting $10. So health now has 100, 200, 220, 230, 240. This is another envelope we had to pull out of. We ran out of our over-the-counter medications and all that. So we had to stock up. Copays is getting five dollars. Whoops. So copays has 20, 40, 45, 50. Medical is getting ten dollars. So medical has one thousand set aside in our high yield, fifty, sixty, seventy. So one thousand seventy dollars in medical. Emergency is getting ten dollars as well. So let me check this off. So emergency has 1,000 set aside in our high yield, 50, 60, 1,070 in emergency. And that is all for my high priority binder. All right, next is our low priority. 
So Beauty is going to be getting $20. My husband needs a haircut, so this is what it's going to go towards. So there's 20, 30, 35 in Beauty. Oh, and I just got my nails done. So yeah, we have spent so much money this last week, two weeks. Birthdays is getting one, nope. Birthdays is getting 10. I keep losing my spot, you guys. So birthdays has 50 and 60. I replenished our checking account for the computer part that my husband got for his computer. Gifts is getting $10 as well. And we have some shopping to do. My best friend's kids, she has two kids. Birthday's in August and I need to take my girls shopping still to go pick them out a gift. So gifts has 100, 150, 170, 180, 190, 195. Family Fun is getting $5. So Family Fun now has 20, 30, 35. Oh my gosh, I forgot to mention our trip to Sedona. So um, it was amazing, you guys. It is so beautiful and just something about being, it is so, it feels like so spiritual. I don't know how to explain it. You just, you have to go there in person to know what I'm talking about. But yeah, it was amazing we just relaxed we stayed in the room most of the time because it was really hot it was pushing 100 degrees and humidity it was kind of stormy there too which we loved we just sat on the balcony and just watched the storm it was amazing and yeah we had a really nice dinner with a view and that was it and we're really low-key people and we just wanted to relax and enjoy each other's company and all that stuff. So it was a really nice time. We got to rest and recharge and I'm happy to be back home too. I really miss the kids and so did my husband. So yeah. And then what else? Oh, my bestie and I went and saw the new movie, It Ends With Us. I don't know. You'll have to let me know in the comments if you guys have read the book or not, but I did. And we really liked it. I thought it was a really cute movie and they did leave some parts out from the book, but all in all, I think they did a really good job with the film. And I actually wanna go watch it again. I liked it so much. So yeah, um, Eating Out is gonna be getting $5. So Eating Out has 15 total. Let me know down below if you guys have seen that movie or not. I'm curious to know your opinion. Date night is getting $5. So date night has 50, 70, $75. I don't think we've ever reached this amount. This is the highest we've ever had. So that's exciting. And that's all for my low priority. All right, going into my holiday sinking funds binder. Gosh, I feel like other stuff has happened. It's just been busy and crazy over here. I feel like I'm missing something though. I don't know. We're homeschooling. I think I mentioned that in my last video. And yeah, I don't know. Maybe it will come to me. Oh, our 10th anniversary. We do have money left over. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80 dollars. I'm gonna set that back here. I'm not sure where I'm gonna reallocate that to. Halloween is going to be, whoops, I already finished this tracker. I'm going to be going on to my other tracker from Budget with Chloe. And last week we scratched off $25. So I need to add $25 here. So $20 and a $5. So we have $20, $40, $45 so far. And I'm going to go ahead and scratch off another number here for next week. I need to get one of those little handheld vacuum thingies. I really enjoy these scratch off challenges. So cute. All right, so next week's number is $15. So I will budget that into next week.
We have already decorated our house for fall. I know, I know, I'm like one of those decorate early people. I just really like to enjoy my decorations because it takes me quite a while to put up and my kids just have so much fun doing it. And yeah, plus it's like over a hundred degrees here in Arizona still. So mentally having my house decorated for fall and lighting the fall candles and all that mentally puts me in cooler weather. I know it sounds stupid, but it's true. So yeah, I'm like super happy. It's my favorite time of the year. Um, Thanksgiving is gonna be getting $20. So Thanksgiving has a total of 120 so far. Black Friday is gonna be getting $10. Oops. So Black Friday has 20, 40, 50, 55. Are you guys planning on getting anything for Black Friday? Like, let me know what I need to look for. As far as right now, I don't have anything planned to purchase, but if I do, it's probably gonna be like Christmas gifts for my kids. So, um, yeah, pretty much have everything. Oh, I do wanna get a outdoor patio table so we can do our homeschooling once it cools off, but that's about it, I think, so. I don't know. Christmas is getting $30. So I'm gonna mark off three trees here. All right, so I need to add $30 in here. So 20 and a 10. Okay, so we have 600 in our high yield savings account. 20, 30, so $630 so far for Christmas, which is crazy, you guys. Like, we're not even close to Christmas yet and we already have $630 like what what my husband and I have never had this much money saved for Christmas like we actually never really did save for Christmas ever so that's really cool I'm so proud of us all right and New Year's is going to be getting five dollars so we have fifteen dollars for New Year's And that is it for this binder. All right, next is gonna be our 52 week savings challenge. And you guys, I need to catch up on this because we have missed the last couple weeks stuffing this challenge. So I'm gonna do 27 and 28. Originally, we were gonna have this money set aside for our beach vacation. We didn't, we haven't decided if we're gonna go yet or not, but around October, my husband's family books a trip every year to go to the beach in California. So we were planning on putting this money towards that. And we're just not quite sure what we're gonna do yet because our electricity bills have just been so much money. We don't know if we're gonna be able to swing it this year which is really sad. So we'll just keep on stuffing what we can and see as it gets closer if we're able to go or not. So first is 27, so 25, 26, 27. And then 28, so 20, 25, 26, 27, 
All right. And then, um, hmm, I'm trying to, to decide what to do with the $80 here. So, I don't know, let's see. I kind of want to put it in our 52 week because we are a little bit behind. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna do, let's see here. I'll just do 40 and 39, even though I have $80. We'll just have an extra dollar in there. All right, let me look for that. So there's 39 and 40. Cool. My kids look forward to this trip so much. They've been, <laughs> we've been one time, but ever since we got back from last year, they've been begging to go back to the beach and it's so much fun. And it's really not that much money for vacation because all you do is just hang out at the beach all day, you know? So I really wanna try and go if we can. We never get to really do anything. So it's nice to get out. So yeah, 39. Right there. Okay. Perfect. Next, we'll go ahead and add the extra $20 to our extra debt this month. So we have 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, $150 that we have saved so far. Not bad. All right, you guys, if you have made it this far, I want to do a little mini giveaway, if you will. So I've done this once before and I wanna do it again. So leave your Venmo down below in the comments. And also I wanna like throw some ideas around for everybody because I've been in a funk, you guys, lately. I just been cooking the same recipes over and over. So to give me some ideas of what to make for the fall season coming up, leave your favorite fall recipe down below as well. So favorite fall recipe, your Venmo, and also be publicly subscribed to my channel. Those three things, and I will go ahead and pick a winner. I will pin the comment once I pick and respond or reply to your comment to let you know that you won. And um, I will send you Venmo, $6 for a coffee. So yeah, it's so much fun and I love to do it. So yeah, I hope you guys love it too. All right, and that is all for today's cash stuffing video. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.